Hey, how you all doing? I bet everybody's awesome sauce. Apologies for, for being away from this channel for such a long time, but I've been busy on the other channel. Okay, we're going to do a Pixel Mater text effects today, and I'm going to do a few things. I'm going to make a cool image background type wallpaper thing. Um, I'm going to show you how to do clipping masks, and I'm going to show you how to do text on the out outsides, and I'm sure we'll think of more things as we go along. If you want to follow exactly what I'm doing as we go along, there's three things that you're going to need first. Just Google search diamond wallpaper, and you'll get these diamonds. Um, also Google search golden background or golden wallpaper, and you'll get this type thing. Um, and I've just got some leather background as well, or brown leather background, should I say. Well, you notice my desktop background or my background layer, sorry, on my Pixelmator is black. This is for a reason, so just, just create a background and then just go to fill and fill it with black, okay? Quite simple. Now, clipping masks. What I'm going to want to do is create a clipping mask. So I want to create some text and I want my text to be filled or made up of this diamond image and nothing on the outside of that, right? So the way I do this is, so I've got my diamond image there, right? Create text. So let me just type um, flare, shall I say? Shall I flare? Yeah. yeah, let me type, did I type flare? Okay, not big enough, so let's, yeah, it's okay, flare. And I'm just gonna make sure that my background image or my clipping mask image that I wanna fill it with actually fills the text itself so let me get this image here select my selection tool and just move it down a little bit because I want these these shiny bits in in the in the picture as well so now what I'm going to want to do is the the image that I want to clip I'm going to drag above my actual text and my text will disappear of course but don't worry about it I'm going to command and left click on my placeholder of my text and I will select the outline of the word flare then I'm going to go to my image, right click, and create clipping mask. And all it simply does is create a clipping of the image um, word flare, right? Then I want to press Command D to deselect and highlight them both. Right click and merge layers. Okay, so we'll highlight the both layers in the in the layers pane by just holding Command or Shift then, right? Um, and now I've got them both um, merged. I can move them together, right? And it will stay as it is. It's important that you press Command D to deselect as well, okay? Right. Now what I want to do, I want to create an outline around this, a gold outline. I'll tell you what I'm going to do first. I'm going to fill it with a gradient, right? I'm going to create this outline and fill it with a gradient so you can see how you do that first. Right, so I'm going to copy my, um, my text. I'm just going to call it text copy, right? And leave the other one just called image. Right, I'm going to call it text copy. And then I'm going to left click and command on my text copy. And you notice it selects the outline of this text copy. Now what I want to do is make that bigger. To, to, so I'm going to go to edit, refine selection, and make my selection in the size. I'm going to make it 10 pixels bigger. 10 pixels bigger so you can see. Let's go even bigger, shall we? Let's make it 20 pixels bigger. 20 pixels bigger than the word flare itself, okay? So you will see now, I've got this outline like this, right? So now I can just fill that outline, so I'll get my gradient tool. I have to make a new layer as I do it right on that copy. I could fill my that outline with this word flare, right? Go back to my selection tool, press Command D on the keyboard to deselect, and my original image, or my text copy, drag below my original image, and you'll see it gives us this outline um, of the gradient that we've got, right? But this outline, I want to make it, I want to fill it with this gold here, right? So I'm going to drag my gold on. I'll make sure it completely covers my image. And it's above the text or above the, um, yeah, the, the, the word that I want to create the clipping mask of. Command left click on the text copy. Right click on the actual clipping image and create clipping mask and there you go we've got it in gold again I'm going to select them both right click merge layers command D to deselect and now if I group these two images group 
these two images like this. I can move them both, but edit them separately within the group. Okay. So that's quite a nice effect as well. I'm sure you'll agree. Now what I want to do is put a nice background on this, right? So I'm just going to drag this leather background onto this and drag it below my group. Drag it below my group. And I'm sure you'll agree, it looks quite cool, right? But I'm going to show you, show you an effect. I've got this spotlight highlighted here, right, in my effects browser. I'm going to drag that to my background. Let's move it over like this. This is quite a nice effect look. If you've, if you've got this. This right. That's quite a nice effect, I'm sure you'll agree. However, let's put a lens flare. Yeah, let's put a lens flare in this. And just highlight it. And you can you find lens flares all, all over the all over the um, web. So let me find a nice that's quite nice. Find another one. That's quite nice. So I just want one that's sort of the same colour, really. I'm <laughs> not having much luck. There we go. There's one that's, that's roughly the same colour. So that'll sort of match the colour with with the background. Let's put it up here like this. Let's put my flare below my background layer. And with the flare, I'm just going to go to my blending mode and make it screen blend. Move my flare. Let's turn the background layer off a second. Let me just move my flare to sort of could have it here, I suppose. I want it here. That's where I want it. There, right there. Turn that background layer back on. And yeah, you've um, got this nice, um, nice effect. You could even turn the opacity of this right and this this text down. So um, yeah. There you go, quite nice, quite nice effect, showing you how to do outlines, do clipping masks, and um, use the spotlight tool as well. So, I hope that helps you out, and I hope you enjoyed that. If you have um, any comments, have any questions, or have any issues, just leave them in the um, in the comments down below. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you all very soon. Love you all. Bye.